Hello, this is Ben Nemser from the Stephen Alexander Cohen Foundation. It is our pleasure to announce a new public-private partnership between us and the Department of Health and Human Services called LIMEX Innovation Accelerator. LIMEX includes multiple projects to jumpstart innovation for Lyme patients, most notably the first ever Lyme Diagnostic Prize Challenge, which hopes to generate new and more accurate diagnostic tests for Lyme patients and their healthcare providers. The project is up to $25 million, so we expect to attract the best and the brightest. The Diagnostic Prize Challenge will be open to universities, private sector companies, and other inventors. We are looking for innovative ideas from all over. And most importantly, the process will be guided by patients and caregivers through the Health Plus design approach. Limax is just getting started, so we're still in the design phase with many more details to come. For more information, go to limax.org and also please sign up for the foundation's Lime newsletter at www.steveandalex.org for project updates. Look forward to innovating for Lyme patients together. Thank you. I am Kristen Honey and part of the team at Health and Human Services that created the 25 million LimeX partnership with the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation. As a former Lyme patient myself, I'm extremely grateful for Alex Cohen HHS Deputy Secretary Hargan and Admiral Brett Jouar for leaning in to today's Lyme and tick-borne disease challenges, asking all of us to think big, go big, and create the next generation of solutions together. Most of all, however, I am thankful to you, to all of the Lyme patients, practitioners, researchers, and caregivers who are making their voices heard. For me personally, after 10 years of undiagnosed and misdiagnosed Lyme disease, I'm recovered today and working again because of you. This Lyme disease community spoke up and gave me voice when I was too sick to advocate for myself. So I'm alive because of you. I'm grateful for your courage, tenacity, continual efforts, dedication, and commitment to this important cause. The work you do matters. We at HHS hear you, we at HHS are listening to your input. Because of you, HHS is responding and making Lyme and other tick-borne diseases a priority. As HHS Deputy Secretary Eric Hargan said in early 2020, this is just the beginning. Together, we can bring about a Lyme tipping point to transform today's landscape. This $25 million LIMEX public-private partnership is because of your community-led work. The SlimeX Innovation Accelerator symbolizes collective action for transformative change with the ultimate goal of improving patient outcomes. There will likely not be a silver bullet for fixing the problems caused by Lyme or tick-borne diseases. To confront the complexities, we must tackle this multifaceted challenge on many fronts. We need an interdisciplinary, holistic approach that includes not only physicians and medical scientists, but also epidemiologists, environmental scientists, veterinarians, entomologists, ethicists, data scientists, and most importantly, Lyme patients, caregivers, and those with lived experience. Our LIMEX partnership will succeed because of your participation. It will succeed because of diverse participation. So please join us and welcome to the Lyme Tipping Point. Hello. I'm Brett Joie, the Assistant Secretary for Health, and honored to lead the 6,100 women and men in the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps. This is the first time I have had the privilege to address the Lyme Mind Conference. Thank you to the event organizers and all of you in the audience for participating. Also, on behalf of the entire HHS team, and indeed the entire nation, I want to express my sincerest gratitude to the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation for their remarkable and generous pledge of $25 million to the LIMEX Innovation Accelerator. Working together through our LIMEX partnership, we will indeed accelerate Lyme innovation progress and strategically advance tick-borne disease solutions in direct collaboration with Lyme patients, patient advocates, and diverse stakeholders across the academia, nonprofits, industry, and government. As of October 1st, Lyme X has relocated to my office, the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Health, also known as OASH, along with the other innovation programs such as Kidney X. 
They are organizationally a part of the newly created Center for Health Innovation, which will provide cross-department and indeed cross-government leadership for transformational change in a select few prioritized areas. As for LIMEX, I am both excited about this opportunity and intend to be personally involved in this initiative. As you may know, my office also organizes and leads the Tick-Borne Disease Working Group, so we will ensure alignment and synergies with this working group. And our Office of Infectious Disease and HIV Policy is developing the first ever national vector-borne disease strategy. This is something that OASH does. We indeed develop Healthy People 2030, the National HIV Strategy, the National Vaccine Plan, the physical activity and dietary guidelines, et cetera, et cetera. So this new organization for LIMEX will ensure that LIMEX efforts connects with and informs the U.S. national strategy. We will ensure that all of your stakeholder engagement and patient input will connect directly with the U.S. vector-borne disease work across the entire U.S. government. We will ensure that LIMEX directly links to the U.S. National Vector-Borne Disease Strategy, so your perspectives and important input through LIME-X will be reflected in future government work on Lyme and other tick-borne diseases. In my past careers, I have held an endowed chair in research at UT Southwestern Medical School, led the science office at DARPA, and was a CEO of a very successful startup, Biotech. I intend to bring all the lessons learned to this endeavor, and I am certain we can achieve results. All of us at HHS are fully committed to ensuring the LIMEX partnership succeeds. Lyme and tick-borne diseases are critically important and a top priority to the President, the White House, and all of us at HHS. Our LIMEX partnership will enable all of us at HHS to hear more from stakeholders including Lyme patients, caregivers, practitioners, and researchers, and give all of you opportunities to engage with government and together improve outcomes. Prioritizing Lyme disease means taking a strategic approach, and that means defining not only what we will do, but what we won't do. My office and this program will be goal-oriented and transparent, and you will know where we are and with whom the accountability rests, always. Prioritization also means the U.S. government needs to walk the talk with an increased federal budget for Lyme disease. And as an initial demonstration of this commitment, just last month, the HHS Deputy Secretary Eric Hargan and I committed $2 million in HHS budget to support LIMEX stakeholder engagement and innovation. This $2 million augments the $25 million LIMEX partnership. It is in addition to the existing CDC, NIH, and HHS budgets for tick-borne diseases. In other words, HHS is coming to the LIMEX table with more money for this important work. From the President of the United States on down, through every level of government, we are committed to transforming today's Lyme disease landscape. It is my commitment to you that our LIMEX partnership will lift and appropriately channel Lyme voices and help transform administration promises into government actions and real-world impact. We must also be careful that the many voices don't just become a cacophony, but rather an intricate, diverse, multi-part harmony that crescendos at just the right time. That is how you will best have impact. In the end, our success will be measured by patient outcomes and how Lyme X improves the lives of all Americans touched by Lyme disease. The $25 million Lyme X partnership is a force multiplier that will help HHS and all of us to accelerate the pace of solutions for Lyme and tick-borne diseases. Together, we are writing a new chapter in Lyme history we begin taking a path heretofore untraveled. I am so very honored to start this journey with all of you right now, today. Hello, everyone. 
I am Deputy Secretary Eric Hargan of the United States Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS. Our mission at HHS is to enhance and protect the health and well-being of all Americans by providing for effective health and human services and by fostering sound, sustained advances in the sciences underlying medicine, public health, and social services. When it comes to Lyme disease, we have an important duty and opportunity in front of us to better execute on that mission. As this Lyme mind audience knows, Lyme and tick-borne diseases are a growing problem, and Lyme disease warrants increased attention and prioritization in the federal government. I want you to know that your voice has been heard, and we've taken action, and by placing increased government attention, increased government investment, and increased government leadership for Lyme disease. In part, with those new efforts, we are driving toward the needed innovation in the Lyme disease space. Innovation is at the heart of so much we do at HHS because we know that so many of the daunting health challenges we face can only be solved by disrupting the status quo with creative, innovative action. In response to recommendations from the Lyme Working Group, in late 2018, HHS launched its Lyme Innovation Initiative to accelerate innovation in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of tick-borne diseases through the development of next-gen technologies, interdisciplinary collaborations, and data-driven innovations. I remember speaking at our Lyme Innovation Roundtable almost two years ago, and we have come a long way since then. It's important to note that our Lyme innovation work didn't occur in a vacuum. Rather, the Lyme Innovation Initiative at HHS is built upon your years of bottom-up, community-led efforts. Things are changing today because of you. Your collaborative approach to Lyme innovation inspired us, and HHS is embracing it to tackle this disease in partnership with all of you, putting the patient voice at the center where it belongs. So today, I am very, very happy to announce a new $25 million public-private partnership between HHS and the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation that we're calling the LIMEX Innovation Accelerator, or LIMEX for short. This $25 million LIMEX partnership is the largest public-private partnership in Lyme history. Our LIMEX partnership will emulate the success and methods of the HHS Kidney X Innovation Accelerator, a partnership between HHS and the American Society of Nephrology that includes patients in every step of its innovation process and has already begun to attract significant interest from innovators to an area that, like Lyme diagnostics and treatment, hasn't changed much in decades. The goal of LIMEX is to revolutionize the area of tick-borne diseases so that we improve the prevention, the diagnostics, the treatments, and the patient outcomes for all stages of Lyme disease. This is made clear in the mission of LIMEX, which is to accelerate Lyme innovation progress and strategically advance tick-borne disease solutions in direct collaboration with Lyme patients, patient advocates, and diverse stakeholders across academia, nonprofits, industry, and government. To achieve this ambitious goal, LIMEX is embracing a three-pronged approach to transform today's Lyme disease landscape. First, LIMEX will engage stakeholders to facilitate patient-centered innovations. Second, it will advance education and awareness. And third, it will foster breakthroughs in next-gen diagnostics, including the LIMEX Diagnostics Moonshot, a multi-million dollar grand prize challenge that aims to revolutionize the field of testing for Lyme disease. But this partnership can only succeed if it involves working with you. Your expertise and your passion will help guide our path forward as we seek to help those struggling from this disease. In closing, some of you may know how HHS and this administration have made achieving better health for all Americans a top priority, especially through tackling impactable, emerging, and neglected health challenges. In a way, Lyme disease represents all three, and it presents a real chance to move the needle. 
I wholeheartedly believe that Lyme disease is an area where, together, we can make real progress. We at HHS are taking decisive action because of you, for you, and with you. We're grateful for the bottom-up work that so many have done to illuminate this challenge and drive action. I look forward to working with all of you to bring about a Lyme tipping point, creating the transformative change we all desire. Together, we can make that happen. So thank you again for inviting me to speak to you all today.